So it is right now 5.44 in the morning on Thursday, March 28th. And I have just gotten some notifications and I'm, I'm kind of late with this, but I just got a notification uh, that there is a major camera firmware update for um, basically the pocket and the full frame lineup of cinema cameras. So I got this guy right here. I'm about to go onto the website and check this out. Uh, this uh, and some of the things that I swore, I thought I saw, I was like, uh, I definitely want to check it out and sort of uh, get first set. So this is basically like an immediate first reaction. But let's go over some of the things right now. Um, so this is for the all of the pocket line of cameras. So the 4K, the 6K, the 6K G2, the 6K Pro, as well as the new full frame cinema camera, 6K. All right, so, um, so here's some of the, the features. So it adds the support of using the cameras as a webcam, which is dope. Uh, I've actually been using the Osmo Pocket, which is back there. Um, and I just recently just tied it out on a zoom camera and it's seamless and it's awesome that I can have something as simple as that just be as a webcam so that I can use pretty much anywhere. Uh, as media pool file browser. Oh. I, I see something. I'm like, I, I can't believe my, I, I'll, I'll probably come back to that. Please don't play with my emotions. Please do not play with my emotions. Uh, this, this better be true. Um, adds direct uploads to DaVinci Resolve projects, acts black magic cloud clip supports, uh, which is the thing that I know a lot of people are gonna be excited about. And we'll talk about that in just a bit. Uh, let's just brought, get through these. It adds the ability to update and manage camera via ethernet. Uh, adds uh, rest control API, remote control. Uh, how do you, how would you update this via ethernet? There's not an ethernet port. Uh, adds rest control API for remote control. That's uh, definitely for, for the broadcasting cloud. That's definitely awesome. Adds login and secure certificate support. Adds network time protocol support, which is awesome. Adds web media manager support. Adds file transfer protocol supports. Adds SMB file support. Adds mobile phone tethering support for some models. Uh, improves gyro metadata reliability and improves USB-C drive detection reliability. So I know a lot of things, is, it doesn't sound like a major update, but this, if you've been a Blackmagic user, these are extreme quality of life um, features and some of them we've been asking since the beginning of their very first cameras. So let's not waste any more time. By the way, I just wanna make this uh, very, very clear. This is a public beta. Um, so if you are cautious and optimistic or maybe uh, you are also sure because you got uh, projects in the works, definitely I, if you wanna hold off, that's fine. It ain't going anywhere. It's not gonna run out anytime soon. Uh, just, but if you are, you can try it, download it and try it out. I'm gonna download it and try it out for sure. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Hold on. Oh my God, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm so excited, I'm actually sweating. As always, with any camera, before you download and update the new firmware, always make sure you set aside your presets in camera beforehand. Now, with Blackmagic, it's very easy. You just go to the preset, you add uh, whatever your current settings are, add that to your presets, and then uh, save it there. And then essentially, when you get the firmware update, you can just load up the presets, and that way all your settings will be saved. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and download this firmware. Let's see here. Let me grab this. Let me grab this guy. All right, so now I'm recording on the, so I'm gonna be recording on the Osmo Pocket as well, uh, so you guys can see uh, all the different updates that we have here. If there's anything, drop frame rates, image stabilization. Oh, it's sorry, it's at the bottom. So the where it's placed on the cameras, uh, so there it is, I see right here on the first page, uh, use as a webcam. So basically here, we can now press this button right here 
and turn that on to use as a webcam. I wonder if I turn this on and let's see how uh, if I close this out and let's open OBS for a second. So as you guys can see right here, I'm rotating the camera and there it is being able to use it as a web camera. Now I should also mention uh, with anything regarding web cameras, uh, always check to make sure you got the proper uh, USB-C cable that can stream the data that this camera is uh, producing and projecting because uh, sometimes that you may come across an issue. So always make sure you've got the cables that can manage this. But as you guys can see right here, uh, the camera definitely is able to see that. So this is, this is completely new. We now have a new media manage page. So I guess we swipe, swipe left, swipe right. But now we have a new media manage page where you can see all your clips. You can select clips. Uh, so I can select clip, but I'm sorry guys, you gotta have me a moment. As y'all can uh, see here, we can finally, after almost 13 years of Blackmagic cameras, we finally, finally can delete clips. We finally can delete clips. I know this may seem like completely silly and like a scene to everybody else that's never worked with a black magic camera before, but literally all the way back to the original, very first cinema camera, throughout their entire history and their lineups, you could never delete clips on black magic cameras. And now we to have the ability to finally, finally be able to delete clips is such a huge, huge thing. This is, this, oh my God, I'm, I'm almost can tear up. Like, it is so, it is so damn exciting that we finally are able to do this. Uh, and the fact that we can see, we got a whole screen where we can go through, uh, we could swipe through and play, and then we can still play individual clips. So you still can have a, play, a way where you can still play individual clips. Uh, what's this? So now we got data, uh, we got data. So now this is another really cool thing now. Uh, you can now select which one. So you can, in terms of the sort of clips you want, you can have, okay, I want just the 6K open gate. Okay, I just want the uh, 6K two, by, two to four to one recordings that I made. So you can now individually go in and say, and, and find the resolutions. You can choose based on frame rates, look at the duration. So anything less than five minutes, give me that. Uh, anything less than a minute, give me that, give me all of those. So now you can actually go in, we can literally just go in and change, uh, we can change and sort our media based on you know, what we're looking for. If a client wants to find something really quickly. This is freaking awesome. And I am so excited that that is, that is in there. So let's see what this is. Uh, so, okay, so this is multiple, so this is where you can select multiple clips, and then, uh, this is basically, okay, so this one allows you basically to select media. So let's say, so on the case of the Cinema Camera 6K, I got a CF Express type option, and then you also, if you want to, you can use an SSD option as well. So if you have multiple media ports, like you either got a, the CFast 2.0 or the SDs and the pocket lines, or you have just the CF Express and the SSD card, you can now 
go through, uh, pick each either one of those. And then, of course, there's this, which is the Blackmagic Cloud Upload. So this is, this is a really, really big deal. Um, this allows you to basically, if you have a Blackmagic Cloud account and you have um, cloud storage, you can now upload your foot clips directly to Blackmagic Cloud and it will also send them directly to DaVinci Resolve. So if you're working on something, you can have it set up that way and it will automatically, uh, you can automatically send them once you've hit cut. You can start beginning to upload them up to, up to it so your editor can start going hand and work. So this is really, really great to help speed up production time. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a Blackmagic Cloud account uh, just yet, so um, I can't really show you, but Michael Tobin, uh, he you know, put out a video before me. He basically uh, showed how you can do it. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Uh, let's see, so like I said, I showed the webcam. Uh, you can, again, directly upload to DaVinci Resolve using Blackmagic Cloud, so now when you're on a shoot, you can just upload them, like I said, upload them directly to DaVinci Resolve, uh, like just the proxy, so editing can just get started. So this is essentially it for right now in terms of the cinema camera full frame. If you have the cinema camera full frame or the pockets line of cameras, um, again, this is public beta, so if you wanna wait, totally fine till like the full on version comes out. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I run into any issues with this uh, public beta, but I will just say right now, this is extremely exciting if you are a Blackmagic user, uh, a Blackmagic owner, because especially of these pocket line of cameras, I know, I know a lot of my friends are Ursa owners and they're probably gonna be wondering where the hell is this feature, the media feature for our cameras. And I'm almost certain they'll come to the Ursa lines eventually. But this is, uh, but seeing this is ultimately exciting. I know again, a lot of people are gonna probably think, man, this is very basic stuff. And yes, you are right. But this is something that I didn't, I thought Blackmagic would not focus its time on to really do this. But the me this media management in camera is, is huge as a Blackmagic owner. The, the ability to delete clips, that to me is just, mwah. Oh, I never thought the day I would see the day I can delete clips in a Blackmagic camera. But it's here and I'm excited and you know, I'll keep you guys updated with this firmware and also if I ever get a chance to use Blackmagic Cloud. But this is it for me guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know, leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care everyone.